Are you looking to re-up your ruble during the late wipe events? Well, I got just the thing for you. If you weren't already aware of the body armor repair kit price, right now they roughly sit around 1 mil, sometimes even spike up to 2 mil if a lot of the uh, stock is bought up. To farm this uh, on the route that I'm going to show you on customs, which is relatively easy, everybody should know all the spots I'm going to show you. You probably run right past me, you don't even realize. They're going to be relatively easy and you'll also find weapon repair kits. Although not as valuable in price through the flea market, finding them is always a, a worthy thing. You can always just repair your guns through the weapon repair kit instead of having to buy it through mechanic or prepper if you like cheaping it out. But um, using the weapon repair kit is a good thing because it builds up your skill to be able to have enchantments on your weapons, even though it takes a little bit of time. So maybe in the beginning of next wipe instead of now, beginning of next wipe thing to note is whenever you have a weapon repair, repair kit to go buy scav guns off fence and just repair them and then sell them make back a little bit of your money not all of it obviously but every now and again you can make some money back from the guns that you buy and you'll level up your weapon maintenance skill that way to be able to get some enchantments on your gun all right we're over here on mapgenie.io I've showed this website on my channel a few times before on some routes that I put on my channel. So uh, just another another recommendation to check out mapgenie.io if you're struggling on new maps that you're trying to learn. Just this past month, I've taken the time to learn reserve. And although um, there's a pro subscription through this one, it's a one time purchase. There's a pro subscription through this website that I don't prefer on doing, but you could always do that. And you got interactive maps. But there's also the wiki that you could always look through maps, but mapgenie.io for customs, interchange, and all that stuff, I find it a relatively easier to use website. So going on the map here, we got a couple of spawns. They're all on this left side of the map around the river and the highway, or bridge, I should say. So we got one over here in the crate area inside 76 but easiest way to just remember it once you come in from back here where there's most most often you're gonna come through come down one take a right hook a left and it'll be your first one on your left that's open next one to talk about is in big red big red and once you head in from the front or on the side you come on in and then just follow, 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 and you'll find some shelves, and you'll find a weapon repair kit or armor repair kit there next to the duffel bag to the left and all that stuff. Moving along, going to Ruef Roadblock, there is a little tank area, and right behind the tank, you're gonna see a little fuel container and uh, some little wood. You'll find another spawn there. And then following up through Ruef, go up a little bit, you'll pass these little gates. Second gate, you'll find a little truck, a utility truck here and you'll find that the doors open in the back and there's another weapon repair kit spawn right there but you thought it was over you thought it was over go up a little bit more and go to sniper roadblock and inside the little shack here on the table you'll find another weapon repair kit and armor care repair kit spawn so you got all these spots all next to each other and then there's still one more to check out which is over here at turret, which is what I like to call it. And um, right on the top, once you come upstairs and get on the top level, looking towards the street, you'll find a little table there that has a weapon repair kit and our repair kit spawn. And sometimes you'll be able to see it from uh, when you're walking in to go see if it's even worth checking. So you'll see it way before you even head up there. So yeah, that's all the spots that I need to cover. There'll be clip, a clip rolling through of me showing you all those spots. Um, but before we do that, I just wanted to say, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me. Uh, help me finesse the algorithm here. Get my channel more exposure. Um, trying to upload as often as possible as I can. Um, took a little month break, and I'm just trying to get up there again, you know? So if you could do that for me, that'd be a much appreciated. Um, but here's the clip.
and just for a brief second here i just want to pause and i just want to discuss um more often than not if you do spawn on this side and just check out all the spawns you're gonna need something something to help you get to the end you know what i mean get to extract so i like to use l1s and sj1s uh they're relatively cheap around the market uh anywhere from 25 to 50k and with the profit that you're making off this it's definitely worth it to have so you can get out of get out of raid safe um they help you with your strength your endurance and all that and all that nonsense so just be sure to carry some uh stims around if you have an injector's case if not like i said they're kind of cheap for the payout you're getting so if you had to put them in your pocket put them in your pocket it is what it is but yeah i just wanted to point that out for you guys All right, there you have it guys. That's the route that I wanted to show you today. Uh, this will make you plenty of ruble. I've got up to 25 M's and I've farmed this a few times here just to re-up on my, on my ruble while I spend money on infinite amount of ammo, even though it takes like forever each reset. So I have to continuously switch the type of ammo I'm using during my raids. Thanks Nikita. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you guys probably understand what I'm saying if you're a hardcore grinder. But I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll have more videos out like this, more like guides. Also, like um, like I had my previous video, kind of funny moments and just highlights that I've had from me playing. So be on the lookout for all that stuff. Um, but yeah, take care and peace, guys.